So we talk all the time about court vision and being able to find open teammates, but a really underrated part of this is being able to actually deliver that ball to them. And one thing that makes guards like Compazzo such great dimers, even despite their height challenges, is that they have an unlimited amount of ways to deliver that ball. So even if a taller defender is all over him, Compazzo is still able to get that pass off and do it in a short window of time. If we can never actually get that ball to them, there's really no point in having that great court vision. And this is something we can train too. And I actually got this drill through the grapevine from Compazzo with a few of my own added twists. Hopefully you guys enjoy. So version one is this, here are the basics. The ball handler is kind of freestyle dribbling, moving around a bit. Whenever that teammate cuts, the ball handler has to get them the ball before they get to that lane line. If they do that correctly, they get a point. But if the defense gets a hand on it, they get a point. And the big catch, it's got to be a different type of pass each time. So I'm just encouraging them to explore different options here, even if some of these seem a bit crazy. And I'm not going to limit them because you never know what will be useful. And I love the fact that they have to get them the ball right as they get there, no earlier and no later, because this is a sign of great passers, as you can see with the Composo. And trust me, this is way tougher than it looks. Second one here, they're coming in at a higher speed, and they have to get that ball to the trailer before they get to the free throw line. Overall, same rules. So now we're just switching the angle and the speed that they're making the pass at. And this can be tough because the defender is on your side and you have really limited options. Lastly, the defense is standing with their back turned and they spin away from where the defense is. Now the defense can either press up on the passer or go and defend that teammate. The offensive player has to perceive that situation and read the defender, make a decision, and then deliver that pass accordingly. This is tough because it's a further pass. They also don't know exactly where that defense is and they're moving away from them. But that's exactly why we're doing it. Oh, yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoyed these drills. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at by any means basketball for a lot more like this.